all this um back and forth on Twitter. I must admit, it is a entertaining, you know, that's cool, you know, it's cute and all that other stuff. But at the end of the day, shouldn't nobody be talking tough on Twitter and turning down fights at the same time? That's straight up. Should nobody be talking tough on Twitter and turning down fights at the same time? I don't understand this generation. I don't understand what's wrong with y'all. That shouldn't happen at all. At the end of the day, both these dudes had bad nights. At the end of the day, both these dudes got cocky and fell on their face. Both these dudes let stuff go to their head. And at the end of the day, both these dudes turned down fights. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, supposedly, allegedly, Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia. And he on camera saying that. I don't want to hear nobody talk about nothing and turning down fights. Not at all. It shouldn't be no back and forth. And at the end of the day, T.O. got what he deserved. Okay? He went sniffing around, being a leech, and he got bodied. Okay? Which, how, how you get bodied by Shakur Stevenson at this time in his career is amazing. But that's only because you shouldn't have been running your mouth. How you gonna talk stuff about somebody who won they fight? And you let the cockiness get to your head and let Cambosis put you on the canvas. And then after that, you want to cry about asthma and you almost died and this, this, that, the third. But you got something to say about somebody else. Heck no, that was illegal. That's why you got stomped on. Just that quick. That's why you got stomped on. And I'm noticing something about Teofimo Lopez. You like to swagger jack black fighters. That's real clear to me now. Because the Ryan Garcia thing... That, that's what made it clear to me Because I noticed at one point in time You had something to say about Terrence Crawford You had something to say about Errol Spence You had something to say about Javante Davis You had something to say about Devin Haney And you had something to say about Shakur You ain't never got nothing to say about nobody else Never no criticism, nothing And I noticed you and Roly Romero do that same thing So at the same time You may complain about ESPN showing all the attention to black fighters But at the end of the day It's you who's showing all the attention to black fighters Cause you don't seem to talk about uh, or criticize or swagger jack off nobody else. You saying you this and you this and you that, but obviously you don't think you this and that unless you riding the coattail of a black fighter, which means that once something go on or when they around to get criticized, you, Roly Romero and other people like you, you guys are always ready to chime in to help beat down on all those guys that I just named. Because you know the crowd likes to favor in trashing those type of fighters. So when you do it, you know you'll get basically fake support. I know how the game work. You know what I'm saying? Or they'll get behind you just to spite them. And y'all know that. And you use it every single time. And did you just call out Terrence Crawford? You see what I'm talking about? But you talking about them showing all the attention. Look what you doing. Look, look, look what, who you need. But when it came to Ryan Garcia... You want to turn that down. And it's all, all because he need money and all because he need. Didn't we just cuss Frank Martin out for not accepting less? I think we did. And at the end of the day, 1.5 and something on the back end ain't bad. He probably won't come away with exactly four, but he could. If they could sell the fight or whatever and whatnot. But how does Ryan Garcia and him don't do numbers? How is that not a big fight? It is. It is, but at the end of the day, he ran his mouth and got stomped on. You know what I'm saying? By Shakur Stevenson at this time. And Shakur, bruh, this picture right here, man, bruh, my God, bro. Talk about a Kodak moment, bro. They got you. This is, bruh, this is a classic photo right here. I don't even know how they captured this at this moment, but you know what I'm saying? The only thing I'm going to say is, how, how does it feel to get ate up by the same people that you try to pander to? Bro, this is crazy right here. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.